Aaron, this is supposed to be fun, of course, but there are some safety concerns that go with this. Absolutely, Jerry. That's right. We are in one of the hot spots. I've seen about a dozen or so folks out here since I've been out here this evening. Now, the game, the very nature of the game, brings people together. It's a mesh of fantasy and reality. People visit landmarks around the city, like the Shreveport Riverfront here, and attempt to capture these creatures through the app on their phone. But if you're not careful, it's not just fun and games. Um, and then if I go a little further. Paul Adams is reliving the days of his youth. This is like a a little more incentive to to keep walking. If I tap it and swipe, others are the next generation of Pokemon lovers. It gets us up out of the, out of the house. I like that you can interact with other players and people all over the world. We caught a couple right up in the front. But where there's good wholesome fun, there are also dangers. Look, get out, go with groups. Or if you're going it later in the day and stuff, that's why I'm coming out here in the middle of the day. I couldn't get any fun. The purpose of the game is to visit real landmarks, usually on foot, and catch Pokemon creatures through the app. We gotta take turns. But in St. Louis, robbers used one feature to lure their victims to a certain location. It wouldn't be hard to allure, you know, to lure people to a spot and and do whatever you plan. That's why David Leach and his friends never play alone. Uh, groups. I would never go by myself. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm safe. I got these guys. I'm always with them. It's a pretty public park. There's a lot of people around. But players can be found outside at all hours of the night. Even so, Pokemon Go player Andy Roberts thinks the benefits outweigh the risks. Everybody was doing the same thing. It was very family friendly, safe. People had their, uh, their kids out here. So parents, if you've got younger kids, obviously you don't want them playing this game alone. You want to make sure that there's an adult with them. But if you've got some older teenagers like the ones that I caught up with today there at the Duck Pond, just make sure you know where they're headed throughout the day. Make sure you understand this app and know exactly how it works. But Jerry, probably the best practice is really no one should be playing this game alone. Everybody should probably be playing in a group no matter what. Yeah, it looks like what uh, most people are doing. So Aaron, even in out in the heat too. All right, we'll let you catch some shade now, Aaron.